Carl Rove uh, is collecting money uh, for his group called Crossroads GPS. Now, it's supposed to be a nonprofit. It's supposed to be a 501c4, and in which case they're not supposed to money, spend money on things like political ads, because that would be political, and then they couldn't get uh, the nonprofit status. Uh, I don't believe them for a second that they're not spending money on political ads. I think the IRS should investigate it. Uh, I think the FEC should investigate it because they're collecting tens of millions of dollars. They say they want to eventually, between Crossroads GPS and American Crossroads, those are two different groups, both on the road, American Crossroads can spend money on political ads. Between them, they're trying to raise $300 million. And a lot of that is in this so-called nonprofit Crossroads GPS. What are the, how much staplers can you buy? How many picnics can you have? Of course you're spending it on politics. Anyway, uh, they, let me tell you what GPS stands for. Because I actually didn't know it until today. I keep, I'm like, what well, GPS, what a funny thing. What, what, what did they name it after? It stands for Grassroots Policy Strategies. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Grassroots. You want to know how many donors they have? Two dozen. 24. That's it. 90% of their funds comes from 24 donors. Now, to be fair, there are other, you know, there might be the 10% <laughs> add up to a little bit more. But the great lion's share of their money comes from 24 donors. Two of them have given $10 million apiece. That's $20 million at least from just two guys. <laughs> Do you, <laughs> maybe it's grassroots for rich folks. <laughs> like for rich folks, they're like, oh, there's 24 of us. Wow, that's quite grassroots. Okay, uh, and by the way, why are they in a nonprofit category? Because they are technically considered, quote, a social welfare group. <laughs> Crossroads GPS run by Carl Rove and his millionaire buddies are a social welfare group? Well, that's rich in irony. <laughs> Come on, man. Here's the only social welfare they care about is how much more money they could funnel uh, to their rich friends. Uh, by the way, uh, $17 million on direct election spending, uh, $27 million on issue advocacy. Which part of this is non-political? <laughs> so, and of course, if anyone in the uh, government investigates this group, Karl Rove would scream bloody murder. Oh, this is a political intimidation by Obama and his Chicago thugs. Well, I don't know if they're ever going to investigate this brazen law breaking, right? But you know Obama, there's probably an 80% chance he won't. But if they do, right? Oh, watch. I'm telling you right now, here, mark it on the record, man. Carl Rove will cry and cry. He'll get out on TV and be like, oh, the Chicago thugs, how could they do this to me? Oh, it's, you know, they're going after their political enemies. What social welfare are you doing with Crossroads GPS? What charitable work are you doing? What non-political work are you doing? He, they are brazen because they know Obama's weak. And they know they can intimidate him. And they know that if he does anything, that Fox News will come out roaring and trying to deceive the American people into thinking that Karl Rove is the victim. 